at the last field, and this is just gonna be the current listings um, user full name. Okay, great. And let's also add uh, the button. So, so first of all, the button should say contact. And let's say on press, it should, um, um, it should link to a website. And we can just add the website uh, mail to, and then the current listings user email. So basically, um, this will open the email program on your phone uh, to compose an uh, email to the current uh, user. So before I'm going to continue uh, our app even further, let's actually preview it now. So we can preview it by clicking on preview here, and you can choose which device to preview it on. I'm going to choose the iPhone uh, XS Max actually. And as you can see, we're not logged in, so we have to sign up. We could go to login, but we actually need to sign up. So let's enter our email. I'm just going to enter an email. And let's click on sign up. And we should be brought into our app, okay? Looks quite nice. Our listings are empty because we don't have any listings yet, okay? We could log out here and we can change between our two different tabs. As you can see, um, our profile works quite well. It's already recognized. Um, we could uh, uh, change our information here so we can enter our username maybe. It's Noco HQ. Let's update that, okay? And it's saved and so we can edit our information. However, let's add our first listing just so we have our database populated a bit. So I'm gonna go on listing. I'm gonna go on view edit records and let's add a listing. Let's say we have a BMW M4, for example. Um, uh, let's say the description is beautiful. 2016 BMW M4 uh, with 20,000 miles. Uh, no race track. Let's say that's the description. Uh, let's say the price is 50,000, okay. Um, the user is the one we just created, so let's select this user. And under image, I'm just gonna use the image I have, which doesn't make sense, but I'm just gonna upload anyone. Let's wait for until it's uploaded. And let's click on save. Okay. And let's preview our app again now. So let's click preview. And we should stay logged in now, okay, recognize it. And as you can see, we have our first listing here now, our BMW M4. And um, I have slow internet right now, so it's not loading, and the image is large. But let's click on this listing now. As you can see, we're now on the detailed view of the listing. Looks quite nice. So we have our title basically here. We have the image, which is still loading, the description, the price, and the owner, of course. And we have the contact button. So let's take a look and see what happens if we click contact. Okay, as you can see, um, our email program is opening, which works quite nice. Let's go back again. We can go back to the listings and yeah, that works quite nice. Okay, so let's close that. So the main functionality of our application is working already. Okay, um, I just wanna add one more thing and this thing is gonna be the ability to add new listings, of course. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first of all add a button. So let's search for buttons. We're gonna use the action button. I'm gonna drag that here, okay. This is a nice material design item, okay? And let's also create a new screen. And we can browse through screens, so under miscellaneous and so on. Um, let's actually create, let's create a form screen again. So let's click form, okay? And let's, let, let's call that create listing. Let's create that screen. And uh, we can modify, let's say select collection listing, as you can see, our Adalo automatically recognizes what fields we need to have. So that's really great. We can um, see what is required. So let's go to screens. Let's choose our uh, create listing screen. Okay. And let's make that a bit larger so we have space for everything like this. And let's also uh, match uh, um, connect these. So if the user clicks on add, we want to link to our create listing screen. Okay. Let's actually use a modal. Okay, let's click done. Now if the user is on this page, let's first of all change the title here. Let's, let's call it create a new listing. Okay, and the user can now enter and make a model, create a new listing, and we can modify the fields that should be, should be added. We have our price, description, and so on. Um, for a description, let's actually use a multi-line because the description is going to be longer. Um, and the price is going to be enterprise and so on and so forth. We have an image field where a user can um, 
uh, enter the image and so on and so forth. And also a dialog recognized when a set automatically the user of this listing should be the currently logged in users, a user. And the submit button, let's say it should be create listing. Okay, and once it's clicked, we create a new listing. Great. And we will link back to the previous screen. And it will be displayed here. So let's take a look and see if that works. Let's click on preview. We're going to choose the iPhone XS Max again. And let's go on profile. As you can see, we have our um, uh, button here, the action button. So let's click on that. Okay, and we have a nice model which says create a new listing. So let's create a new listing. Let's so call it Porsche uh, 997. Let's say um, um, Porsche in good, good condition. Let's say the price is something like this. I'm going to add a random image again. Please excuse my images. I don't have good images. Let's just upload that image. Wait a second. And let's create a listing. Okay, great. So we're brought back to our profile page. So if we go to listings now, great. We have our second um, listing being displayed here. Uh, I don't know why the price isn't being shown correctly. Probably due to the formatting of the number. But otherwise, we have our listing displayed. Works quite nice. Let's click on it. And we have our Porsche 997 in good condition. The price, which didn't quite work out. Um, the owner, which is again us, no KHQ, and should be the same email um, as before. So that works quite fine. Um, um, I want to add one more last thing, uh, which is I want to add the ability for users to see what listings they created and, of course, also delete them if they want to. So let's. Um, uh, choose our screen again, our uh, profile screen, and let's make that larger again. So let's drag that down like this. I'm going to drag the tab bar down, and let's drag the action button down as well. And let's uh, actually uh, copy this card list and just paste it here because we want to have the same structure basically. And um, okay, and let's modify this list so. What is a list of a listing? And we want to add a filter. So the user, um, the user's, um, let's say, email should be uh, uh, the current user's email. So logged in user's uh, email. Okay. So this will mean only your listings are um, shown. We also want to add um, an icon. Okay. So an icon. And this icon should be um, a delete icon. Okay. And on action, we want to delete the current listing, okay, and click done. So that, that's already it. That should work. Um, let's actually make this screen uh, larger again. So I'm going to choose the profile screen, make it even a bit larger so we have space for all of that. Let's drag that down the tab bar. And uh, this should go like this. Let's first drag that down here. Let's drag this down as well. So let's preview our app again. And let's go to profile. And we can scroll down. Or we should be able to scroll down. However, it's not displayed. So let's see why, what the issue is. Um, let's close the preview again. Um, oh, as you can see, we could have just choose the logged in users listing. So that's much easier. So let's just choose the logged in users listing. Let's try that again. And now, as you can see under profile, we have the ability to edit our information and also the current listings we have. So let's delete the Porsche listing. And as you see, it's gone now. Let's go to listings. And OK, we only have the BMW M4 uh, listing. So. Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, our core application works. We have an overview of listings. Um, you could add a search bar here now and add more fields, basically um, kilometers or miles field and so on, more descriptions, information, manual, uh, automatic. But these are, of course, just details for your application. But overall, it works really nicely. Um, and uh, all screens work. We have our profile, which we can edit. We can we have a nice floating action button in Material Design, which where we can create a new listing 
And yeah, everything works quite fine and without writing a single line of code. So I hope you learned something in this tutorial and uh, I'm going to see you in the next tutorial for NoCodeHQ. Bye.